I'm Andrew Goddard, and this is the weekly volatility roundup from CMC Connect. Bumble was the standout at the single stock level last week. The CEO announced her resignation ahead of earnings news, leaving many in the market to conclude that the outlook was less than positive. However, Q3 numbers came in ahead of expectations, and although there are some concerns with the performance into the year end as consumers pull back in terms of discretionary spend, the stock has posted some impressive gains, adding more than 12% since last Monday. One week vol stood at 150.47% against a three month reading of 77.91%. Palladium prices have been active as concerns mount that demand is waning. The rising popularity of electric vehicles plus traditional car makers switching to cheaper platinum for their catalytic converters is bolstering fears that a surplus of the metal will now be seen. Over the last week, the price of the underlying has slipped by more than 15% to well below $1,000 per ounce pushing volatility over the same period to 53.17%. That compares to a three-month print of 39.87%. Crypto activity has been elevated once again, with confidence continuing to build that the SEC will approve ETFs for the asset class. Solana was the standout in terms of price action, adding more than 40% against the US dollar over the last week, which was sufficient to lift volatility to 111.69% against 75.86% for three months. And natural gas traded down to a five-week low amidst concern over milder weather being forecast for much of the US. The absence of any inventory data owing to technical updates also meant that traders were left to focus purely on these longer-term demand forecasts when trying to establish fair value. As a result, one-week volatility printed 51.85% against 48.83% for three months.